say he's a perfectionist and he always wants to do the best and so sometimes you know when you have this kind of mood you a little bit maybe not giving up but a little bit more down he's always pushing you behind and keeps you going so he helps a lot about this not only about the dancing but also in private life let's say yeah she is very positive she's uh, very funny sometimes <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> when we're not practicing <laughs> no no but she's very funny and uh, i don't know she just have this kind of personality like you know like a bit like a sunshine you know she shine a bit so it's very nice and uh, when she's not angry, of course. No, no, no. <laughs> actually, no, no, this is, she's very positive. So this is very cool. I don't know, because maybe sometimes I'm too stressed and just something can make me a little bit nervous, but Charles, he always like, just chill out and it's gonna be okay, so. I'm usually, I'm not getting angry, not so often. <laughs> I know what get her angry a lot, <laughs> but there are many things that get her angry. Like for example, if you lose the luggage, or if uh, people are not on time, or all that stuff. I know she gets angry, but I'm always the one. Who but I think like, it's oh, like nice. only the things I can control. So I know it's not logical, but I still sometimes it gets me. I get more angry when I don't get food. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't get food, if I don't eat, then I start to be angry. <laughs> So yeah, many many things. For me, I think it's the, the people that I love and I care about. For me, it's very important. Then of course dancing because it's for what I live. And yeah, many things. Yeah, but for me the same. First, my family and my friends, and uh, the time we spend together, and uh, of course yeah, the dancing. Dancing always gave me something very special, a special thing. So sports I didn't do but I was playing piano when I was younger and then I think with the other sports I was so bad especially with the ball you know or something like football or basketball I was so so bad so I said like okay let's keep dancing and not anything else so mm, what I did I did gymnastic I was swimming too and uh, actually my mom wanted me to dance because at the beginning I didn't want to dance. Actually, I loved dancing, but I didn't want to dance, especially together with a girl. I didn't want to at all. And my mom decided to still put me in the dance school, and then I started and I just couldn't stop. I would love to be a writer because I love reading books, I love, I don't know, find out new things and I love also to write nice things sometimes I have in my mind and to put it in the paper. So, probably writer. And I would think maybe architecture because I like very much design and harmony in the, in the building, I love very much. Many, so many. I know, so, r and uh, yeah. for me, hip-hop sometimes can be opera if yeah, I need to actually, calm so, down, yeah. like every style, really. Yeah, for me the same, uh, bossa nova I like very much, or I can uh, more uh, lyrical or... Uh, for me even jazz I like. Jazz also, also rap. Yeah. Rap, yeah. Yeah, well many, many things. Uh, paso doble. Yeah, also for me, but I also love rumba. Paso and rumba, I would say. White, black, blue. <laughs> I also love uh, white, black, red, and also green. I think I would love to travel in time, in the future, in the past, to like to, to create new memories, new new adventures. A superpower, uh, like uh, to live forever. This I would love because there are so many things to do, you know, and sometimes you feel you don't have time enough to, to try everything and to do everything, so, and life is going so fast. So yeah, maybe this. I would say I'm a little bit like a tiger, because sometimes I can be very <laughs> aggressive or... Some people told me that I look like, uh, oh my God, I don't know that word in English. Kibu in French, Kibu. Um. You know that, that bird in the night, it's a, he has the, oh, this Harry Potter bird. Oh. Yes, yeah. this one. I don't know, because they told me, yeah, with your eyes, you're looking and you're, I'm quite quiet. And I like to look around, you know, a bit like this. I like to observe a lot.
come in first. My partner too, even Ooh, if she doesn't oh know my it. God. She doesn't know because I don't tell so much. But she does. If I talk about dance sport, a lot of people like uh, Franco Formica or Slavik Kriklevi. Uh, but if I talk also maybe uh, Barishnikov for uh, many dancers also from, from France, who are for example like uh, Ballerina, Aurélie Dupont, or people like that inspire me a lot. I would say also um, uh, my team inspires me, who is always with us, our coaches or my partner or the, I don't know, even my boyfriend or the family. I love Marilyn Monroe and like I always read books about her, how, I mean, smart she was, but the, the image that she was giving, like this pinup and very sex symbol, but actually she was very smart. And this kind of strong woman inspires me every day.